in Victorian and classic aesthetics, I never thought I would fall in love with New York City. But as they say, life is full of surprises. <laughs> the first stop I'm taking you to is, quite predictably, the public library. This is the main branch of the New York Public Library and it's located in Manhattan and it's easily recognized by the lion statues, patience and fortitude that are guarding the entrance. The building is stunning and it's no wonder it was declared a National Historic Landmark in 1965 and has been featured in numerous movies and TV shows. visit they had a fascinating free exhibition on Virginia Woolf. A Room of One's Own is an inspiring essay in which she advocates for a woman's independence and emphasizes the need for every woman to have a space of her own to nurture creativity and engage in writing. Mrs. Dalloway is one of my all-time favorite books and I can still remember the book's brilliant opening sentence that has received extensive critical analysis. Moving on to the main room, they have an excellent children's collection. And among their treasures, they have the original teddy bear that Christopher Robin received on his first birthday in 1921, along with his companions that joined after. They also possess Dickens' desk, lamp and chair, as well as his annotated copy of David Copperfield and his paper knife. They have the first English language edition of Stravelpeter. I loved reading this one as a child. They have the manuscript of The Secret Garden, Tanya's original drawings of Alice, and the earliest printed version of Perrault's fairy tales. You can also marvel at Mozart's manuscripts, Virginia Woolf's diary entries and letters, Joyce's first editions of Ulysses, religious texts such as the Gutenberg Bible and numerous Jewish texts actually, including an 18th century Ketubah, a Megillah of the Book of Esther from the 1700s and many more. Handwritten manuscripts by Charlotte Bronte and the first folio of Shakespeare's works, as well as the first printed edition of Plato's works in Greek, are also on display. Of course, there's a gift shop where I purchase some presents for my fellow book lovers in Dublin. And I can't wait to visit this library again. I'm sure there is so much more to see that I didn't have the chance to explore during my short visit. But that's it for now, so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more upcoming New York City videos and I'll see you next time. Bye for now!